Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how you can add a refresh button into your Power BI report. Now to do this we need to do a couple of things. The first is that we need to create a Power Automate flow, or what we just call a flow, uh, that will refresh the data set. Now that has two parts to that. One is we set up uh, the flow so that when we receive a HTTP request, then that flow goes and refreshes the Power BI dataset. That's very easy to do. And the second thing that we need to do, which is also very easy to do, you'll be glad to know, is that we need to create a button in Power BI that will then call that um, HTTP request, which then initiates the flow, etc. And then we can review the refresh through the normal Power BI tools. Okay, let's switch over to Flow and start this. Okay, so here we are in Microsoft Flow. What I need to do is go and create a new flow. So I'll click the Create button here. Now, the type of flow that I want is an instant cloud flow. I'm going to call this calls refresh because the actual data that I'm looking at here are telephony calls in and out of Teams. And it's important that obviously you just don't call your flow demo one or test one. Actually, when I do this for commercial organizations, then of course we might have lots of flows and we need to understand, of course, which flow is being initiated by which Power BI report. And then we're able to choose how we trigger this flow. Well, what we need to do is go towards the bottom here and we trigger this flow when an HTTP request is received. OK, so here's the start of the flow. And what we need to do is go into the advanced options and choose the method as a get method. Once that's done, we'll go and click to add a new step. Now, the step that we want is a Power BI step, so we can just search Power BI in here. And you can see it comes up pretty quickly. The step that we want is this, the ability to refresh a data set. Notice it's in preview. We'll select that. So we need to now choose two items, the workspace and the data set. So in order for this to work, you need to have published your report, obviously. Now the workspace I'm going to choose is YouTube. And the data set in there, well, I've only got one at the moment. That's called calls. OK, so now we just need to save a flow. And once that's done, what will happen is we're going to generate this HTTP GET URL here. So let's just copy that. So we're done with flow for now. Let's just go into Power BI. So here's my Power BI report. As I say, this is making an API call out every time we refresh the data set. What I need to do on this report is put a new button on the report, which then initiates that flow. Let me just come and do a little bit of resizing on here. So we'll create a bit of space. I'm going to put my button here. We'll insert a new image and I'm going to choose this one. So that's a nice image for refreshing. Let me just change some of the positions on there. So we'll put this five and four and I think 93 and 93 should typically do that. OK, so there's our button. What we now need to do is we need to associate that button with an action. So the action that we want is a web URL. Here's where I can paste that URL in that I copied out of flow. And then I'll typically enter a tooltip. So once that's done, we're good to go. And it's really just a question of then publishing this report. So here I am in the Power BI service. This is how my report looked before we published it. Let me just refresh the page so that I can show you that new refresh button. OK, so now's the moment of truth. Now's the time we're going to click on refresh. What I want you to notice is the time of the last call was 14.31.44 on the 22nd of February. And the total calls uh, is 123.372. So 372 is the number that I'm going to try and remember here. OK, as I hover over refresh, you can see that tooltip appear. So let me click on the refresh button. 
So what happens is it makes that HTTP request and it opens up this new tab, which we can pretty much ignore. So I'll just close that down. So the refresh will take a little while to happen. Let's just have a look at what's happening in the background. If I go back to Power Automate, then let's just go and have a look at that flow. You can see that that flow was initiated a few seconds ago and that it ran. It didn't take very long to run at all. So if I go back into Power BI, let's just have a look at what's happening to the data here in my YouTube workspace. You can see that the data has just been refreshed at 8.45. So if I go back to the content, so we click on the refresh button, you can now see that the time of the last call was 8.43 this morning and the total calls has come up from ending in 3.72 to 8.24. So you can see that the data set has indeed refreshed itself. Okay, so that's what we did. We created a Power BI automate flow that refreshed that data set and we set a button in Power BI to initiate the flow. So what are the downsides to this? Well, if you've got a Power BI Pro license, then that data set can only be refreshed up to a maximum of eight times a day. And it doesn't matter whether that's a scheduled refresh or one initiated using this flow. Now, if you have premium capacity, then this limit goes up to 48 times per day. OK, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe to this YouTube channel. The buttons are on the screen now. Thanks very much. Bye.